Hey guys, it's Dean here. Now today we're going to be discussing an install of a classic clamshell tent onto a custom made canopy. And what we have here is we've got a 79 series Toyota Land Cruiser single cab. And the customer rang us up and said, mate, you know, I want to get this custom canopy built. And how do I go about building this to suit the tent and the mounting system on the tent? And guys, we love chatting with you guys and making sure that the install is not just going to be well done but the best possible install for the actual build that we're doing whether it be a standard canopy or a custom design like this so simply put we asked our client to please put in these tubing running in the lengthways and you're able to do this when you have an awesome blank canvas like these custom jobs so two rails running in in any position from 650 mil apart all the way up to 800 mil apart, running in the length of the canopy. That allows for easy mounting because we can move our tent brackets forwards or backwards as needed. And because the tent has the extrusions underneath where you can adjust and slide your bolts all the way along, we can basically fit into those wherever we need to. So easy for moving and it's gonna work out great. And anyway, I'm gonna get on the top of the roof and just show you some of the challenges that we faced as well when receiving custom jobs so let's get up there and have a look all right guys so as i was saying you know some installs um go as quick as 30 minutes on a tent um, but others especially on custom canopies it's always hard to judge how long it's going to take anywhere from two hours possibly to four now two things that this canopy came in which is very very interesting this roof is actually curved all right right over so it's hard to see in the, in the photographs and on camera, but it's actually got a full bow in the actual roof itself. And the second thing is what I want you to notice is there's actually pop rivets in the top. So I wasn't expecting this. So what it comes down to is never an issue, but just working around it. So one great thing is we can see our line out where we need to go in. Now the plan with this is to put our Z rails on the top. Now a Z rail is an easy mounting setup that we've designed basically it can go on anything and it allows the tent to be adjusted on the top of the rail itself and also allows a decent overhang if you're going over for example a dual cab this is a single cab so we don't really have an issue with that but to give you an idea what we're going to be doing is attaching it like such but at the way it's lying we want to drill straight through the canopy and through those tubings that we asked the customer to put in um, just to secure it down now Notice that this is lying on the pop rivet. So first obstruction, but uh, just a challenge is a good one, is I've decided to mount it on top of the pop rivets, but what I'm gonna use is some rubber insertion. So this is like conveyor belting rubber that they use on mines and conveyor belt systems. Um, really great thickness. And what the idea is that that is gonna take the shape of the top of the pop rivets and allow a nice flat surface to mount the actual Z rail to. So, I've marked it up where I want it, and you always have to position your tents up, you know, what will best suit you. So customer's requirements is he wants to be able to enter the tent from the rear, um, you know, but to have the tent as far forward as possible. Now we've got these two big spare wheels on the back, so we obviously want to try and get the ladder up to just miss those spare wheels, but still get into the tent. So simply put, that rubber is going to basically come on there. Now I've already pre-drilled these, marked up the holes, done what I needed to do on the measurements. While that takes up the shape of the pop rivets, the Z rail is able to lie on top of the rubber like such. And then once that's in place, the tent section is gonna be easy to mount on. You just slide your eight bolts into the tent, place it either in the front slots or the rear slot, and there you go, job done. So let's get onto this, mounting these up. And always note that on a type of flat surface like this, we always seal it with a Sikaflex product as well to stop any water leaks from getting into the canopy. All right, so the rubber's in place. Now, it's not always a perfect sign, so I first put in the 70 millimeter bolt and had a look at the back and we were slightly too short, so I went, upgraded it to a 75. But what you'll notice is I've got a, what they call a penny washer. It's basically a, an eight millimeter hole with about a 16 uh, millimeter diameter on the outside. That's gonna go to the top. But what I wanna do is also seal um, you know, basically double precaution. You can never really have enough sealant when you're going straight through a roof. So I'm going to put some sealant between the rubber and the top of the Z rail as well. Like such. And then the last one. There we go. 
and then the Z rail technically should fit on quite easily. And go through both sections. Come on thing. There we go, just got to talk to it nicely. And the back. Now, as you can see on the top of the um, Z rails as well, the holes I've actually slotted them, and that really makes it easy or easier. You can shift this thing back and forward as needed. So, washer and bolt straight through there. We've got four of them down. That's a heap load of strength as well. Now, I'll go to the inside and put the washer on the inside and the nylock nuts at the same time, and then just basically bolt it down. We've got the rattle gun here ready to go, or the impact driver and um, should be pretty straightforward from here on in. So basically once the Z rails were installed, we just uh, lifted the tent up and slid the 20 millimeter by M8 bolts underneath the tent into the tent extrusions. Um, bringing the tent over the vehicle, we wanted to place it in this position over here, basically about halfway over the tires, it was a request. The goal is to get the ladder to still attach onto this rear mounting point. So once your tent's in place, you got to line it up so it's in the center of the vehicle and basically measure it on each side. Now when you're doing measurements, it's really easy to measure from the outside of the Z rail to the outside edge of the silver section of the U channel. It gives you a nice straight clean cut edge to measure to. Once that's in place, you basically just tighten down your eight millimeter bolts with nylock bolts or nuts um, and nuts with washers. And that's all in place then and ready for anything else. Now we're also gonna be installing a solar panel to the top of this. So I'll get onto that next and then basically it's good to go. Let me get this rig out of the workshop and um, show you guys what an awesome build this is. It's absolutely stunning, but on the front end of this 79 series Land Cruiser, we've got an ALB bull bar. We've got the ALB side rails coming down, a set of clear view mirrors, which these are the extendable towing mirrors. And the nice thing is as well, on that side, a Safari R-Max snorkel. Now that obviously is to fuel the airflow into the big V8 motor. On the front end, a set of GME antenna for the UHF, and most important is the fishing rod holder right on the front end. But other than that, guys, that's technically the rooftop tent that we fitted, our Black Series clamshell rooftop tent. And just note what a beautiful looking canopy this is, and it came out really nicely on the custom job. Um, a set of basically your, your Nitto tires, which is a great tire as well. And the tent just clears that back space over the overhang on the, on the rear. Now open this bad boy up and it fits in beautifully. Nice amount of shade or, or basically rainproofing here. You can always put an awning on at a later stage. Um, pretty simple. And to grab the ladder, make our way down to the back and open up the tent. Here we go. So we've positioned it where it is on the rear here. And the goal is that when you are doing a rear entry is you simply First attach that section there, pull it out, beautiful. And just the right amount of clearance that we wanted there, nice and sturdy up here. Now also note that we have fitted the two by 160 watt solar panels on the roof of this. So a little bit of assistance like such, beautiful. And the tent goes up the rest of the way. Guys, well, that's the build. Toyota single cab, 79 series, beds already. Looks awesome. I love this build. Great looking truck. For more information on our products, don't forget to go to our website, www.thebushcompany.net. Check out our YouTube, check out our Facebook and Instagram. Thanks for watching and catch you later.